How you doing guys? This is Jay Quick from Quick Boxing. I hope everybody's doing well on this lovely Sunday afternoon. So um, it's been a minute um, since I talked on my Quick Boxing page here on Facebook, but I want to address something and something that's very serious. I need to talk to you guys about breathing. And not just in the form of boxing, but in your everyday movement. Now I see a lot of people in the gym, whether they're weight training, whether they are boxing, fighting or whatever it is, and I see them really grimacing in the face. You know the trainers are telling their clients to do a set and before the first moment the move is being implemented, they do this. That tension is killing them because that tension is resonating throughout their entire body. It inhibits your fluidity because you're breathing in an improper fashion. Hey, babe. Yeah. Sorry, that was my lovely wife doing a video, babe. So that tension in your neck is resonating through every part of your body. You know, the body doesn't understand the fight or flight response regardless of what stimulus is given. It could be an exercise that's hard, it could be a frightening experience or whatever, but it reacts the same. But what you ought to do is to relax. You have to pair your breathing with your movement. The more oxygen you receive, the heart has to work that much harder to convert it to a byproduct. I hope you understand it. I'll say it again. The more oxygen you receive, the harder the heart has to work to convert it to a byproduct. So I'll give you an example. When somebody's hyperventilating and you give them a paper bag, what happens? They put the bag over their mouth, they breathe. So they're exhaling carbon dioxide. And they breathe in oxygen, yes, but a little more of carbon dioxide. So in turn, what do you think that's going to make the heart do? It's going to slow the heart rate down. It's going to bring it down to an average level instead of a heightened, elevated level. Right? So I use this method when I'm running, when I'm training, and it's the best thing to do because when you run, when I run, I breathe in the nose and out the nose. Yes, snot may fly, boogers may come out, <laughs> but I keep a handkerchief with me and blow my nose when I run. But my point is, you have to regulate your breathing. You don't want to catch a breath. You want your breath to catch up to you. And that is called conditioning. So I remember points in time when I was fighting as a professional and I would have to go back to the corner, sit on the stool and wait for instructions and to get into the next round. And while my trainer is telling me, you know, give me instructions, you got to this, you got to that, do this, do this, the whole time I'm like, yeah, okay, okay, okay. I'm breathing. So I have a minute to get my stuff together. So when I go into the next round, it's like starting all over from round one. I'm still fresh because I know how to regulate my breathing. So, um, if you look at the character, that was a McDonald's, Grimace, right? The big purple blob with the eyes and, you know, he was always smiling. Grimace never grimaced. He always kept his composure, he kept a smile. So, before the first punch is thrown, before the first movement is done, why are you tightening up? Making the stank face. It looks like you're on the toilet about to take a crap. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I mean, why are you creating tension in your body? Is it apprehension? Is it fear? Is it being fatigued? My concept is when the body gets tired, then the body gets smart. Because you can't muscle through too much of anything when you're fatigued. You have to rely on your form. And in this aspect, the form is your breathing. If you're doing a push-up, for example, some people inhale Take all that air in the chest and try to push up. 
and then they close their mouth, holding the breath. And you're wondering why you cannot finish the set. You're supposed to inhale on the way down, <sighs> exhale as you push. It does two things. It releases the byproduct of carbon dioxide and it hardens your body, meaning it contracts your abs, it contracts your lower back, and it keeps everything stable. Because in that push-up, it's just not all about arms and chest. It's about your shoulder, hip, knees, and toes being in one straight line. And that can only happen if your body is in full... We can't fly. Okay, baby, I get it. So you have to be fully contracted. You have to be shoulder, hip, knee, toe, one straight line throughout the entire movement. Otherwise, your whole kinetic chain will break down. Your, your stomach will dip like you're doing a hump and your push-up just won't be effective. So you have to learn how to breathe. You have to learn how to relax. But that's just my input for today. Hope you um, learned something from it. And as I talk to you, I'm talking to myself as well. Peace.